And let's get in further details from Raymond Wickery, who's joining us on the broadcast this evening, live from Washington, D.C. Raymond, you've been studying American policies and, of course, uh, the uh, many proposals that Donald Trump has made during his tenure uh, very closely. Explain to our viewers uh, if you agree with what he calls a common sense compromise, the offer that he's made. What do you make of it? Do you find any merit? Well, Molly, thanks uh, for having me, first of all. Uh, I don't think that uh, this really is a new offer. Uh, it really is uh, something that's designed to look like uh, something new, but uh, is really not and really doesn't even uh, go as far as Republicans in the Senate uh, had been willing to go uh, previously. The main point here is, from a Democratic point of view, that it's illegitimate and wrong to use the federal government shutdown as a hostage in order to get your way. From the Republican, or I should say the Trump point of view, uh, the whole point is to get the wall that he has promised and that he uh, used in rallies all across the United States. So that's the essential point. And what the Democrats want to do is say, let's start the government again and then we can do it. In terms of the specifics, the problem with the, the basic problem with this uh, wall for DACA kind of trade off is it's really only a temporary matter. Uh, it, the president has said you're going to get uh, temporary protected status uh, and a uh, DACA status for three years. After that, presumably, uh, you could kick people out of the country who had actually uh, had been brought here by their parents, grew up as Americans, are contributing to American society. So this kind of temporary uh, approach is not really uh, something new from the president, uh, and it's really not, it doesn't go as far as the Democrats had gone previously in even talking about a DACA uh, trade off. In those instances, it was a permanent protected status with a past, uh, path to citizenship uh, for dreamers. So I think that this is really uh, not a start. The other point is that not even the Republicans uh, in his base uh, agree to this. Uh, it's a measure of how radical uh, the right has become in the Senate that there are voices of dissent even to giving a three-year extension uh, to dreamers. So this is really uh, not uh, something that pushes it forward. Uh, there are numerous bills. There'll be another bill to provide more border security, but not build a wall from shining sea to shining sea, whether it be uh, made out of metal or concrete or whatever. That's just a non-starter because it doesn't work. It, talk, it costs too much, and it pr provides a symbol, uh, an edifice, if you will, for Donald Trump, but really doesn't advance the uh, interests of the American people. Right, and also, you know, speaking a little bit more, uh, Raymond, about uh, the cost at which the president is trying to uh, uh, fulfill his uh, campaign promise, 800,000 employees going without pay, massive chaos on American streets, uh, a lot of uncertainty on the horizon. Um, on one hand, he is trying to make these attempts. On the other, the Democrats, of course, are insisting uh, that they will not go ahead with any negotiations till the president uh, ends the shutdown. Neither side is willing to back down. Uh, what do you make of what lies ahead or for, for the next uh, a few days for uh, the United States? Well, in the next few days, we'll hear uh, something from the Democrats uh, in the House again, and it will have additional money for border security. And there are negotiations uh, that go on. Uh, but uh, the essential point about opening the government uh, is the essential one for uh, the Democrats. It's not just the 800,000 people that are laid off, but you're talking about millions of people affected uh, not only the family members, but all those people who depend on federal government workers uh, to pay bills uh, and be productive members of society. Uh, not to mention the slowdown which is happening at airports, the Transportation Safety Administration is not funded, people are working without pay, therefore some people are trying to make ends meet by taking other jobs. 
the president just has to be able uh, to come to a point where he can relinquish this war cry uh, domestically of uh, I'm going to build a wall and the Mexicans are going to pay for it. Uh, he got a tremendous response from his base, entirely unrealistic. Mexicans are never going to pay uh, for the wall, and the wall is simply a symbol. It seems to me that what is happening is the president has an edifice complex. He wants an edifice that'll be the Trump wall from sea to shining sea uh, and will put him uh, in the history books and have something for people to see. And that's just not going to happen. So in the next three days, you're going to have more offers from uh, the, US, from the uh, House of Representatives side. You're going to have uh, people in the Senate. You're going to have a reconvening of the so-called Problem Solvers Caucus which are moderates on both sides that are trying to find a, uh, a way forward. But the fear is that if the Democrats would give in to Trump on this, I mean, he could use this tactic uh, presumably for any of his other uh, priorities, whether they be repeal of Obamacare, whether they be uh, shutting down of uh, environmental regulations. And the idea that you're going to govern by threatening to uh, shut down uh, is not acceptable, I believe, in India. It shouldn't be acceptable in any great democracy. And it does have implications uh, for how uh, democracy works around the world and uh, impacts, it seems to me, the partnership between India and the U.S. as well as the U.S. and the rest of the world. Indeed, and we're of course talking on a day uh, when uh, Donald Trump uh, is completing, uh, will be completing two years uh, of being in office. He's already made history, but for the wrong reasons. It's the longest shutdown in American history. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Raymond Vickery, thanks very much indeed for joining us with all of those perspectives. <laughs>